Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It's time now for Education Matters. We're here with Dr. Craig Douglas. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning to you. And now students, they've been back in the classroom online and in person for at least a week now. So what do you think is going so well so far? So four observations I would offer that are, I think, strong points or positives. First, the increase in communications. There's been excellent media coverage from TV5 and other media outlets to help keep the public informed, and in particular, informing parents and students. In schools, schools are to be commended for stepping up their communications to reach out to parents perhaps more than ever before. Second, support from public health officials. During this pandemic, it's so uncertain, and it's crucial that health officials keep school leaders informed, and they have, and this is a very positive. It's obvious that the close communications are being heated by the school officials as well. A third point, Veronica, is the flexibility I'm seeing. Students have been given many, many choices for learning. And this has helped alleviate some pressure, perhaps, in terms of what they should do, what's best for them. And this helps mediate concerns over face-to-face -face or in-person instruction. And finally, our educators have been very creative. So innovation has been a strong theme in this back-to-school era. Never before has systems adapted so quickly and this includes instructional strategies and support for students with the instruction, along with practical aspects like disinfecting and cleaning to keep the areas safe and to minimize the risks. Now, it is really great to hear that things are going well so far, but there are still some concerns for parents, students, and staff members, right? Absolutely. I'm going to highlight three. There are many many concerns, but I'm going to highlight these three. First, the COVID-19 and exposures. We've seen Michigan State University get hammered this week with instances of positive outbreaks. So if and when these occur in our K-12 systems, what will happen and how will these outbreaks be mediated? What approaches will be taken if and when positive tests occur? Second, athletics. I'm very supportive we have fall sports in motion, but how this plays out is a real uncertainty. And spectators, mass, there's so many uncertainties as the fall season rolls out. And of course, how the fall season goes may be a precursor to how winter and spring sports play out as well. And a final point, and I, this is kind of a wild card, but the vaccinations, vaccinations are looming. What role will schools play once the vaccine is finalized and ready to be disseminated and inoculations are offered to the public. Uh, a personal story, when I was a kid, polio was a real fear and the polio vaccine was rolled out through our local school system. I remember going there on Sunday, lining up with my sleeve rolled up <laughs> for my polio shot. Will we see that happen again in our schools? Only time will tell. The key with the opening of school has been trust. There's been a lot of trust extended. This must be maintained in order for us to move forward. And parental voices need to be heard every step of the way, in my opinion. Yeah, and these are some serious questions that hopefully we get some answers to soon. Thank you so much for speaking with us this morning, Dr. Douglas. Thank you. Keep up the great work. We appreciate your coverage. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us and giving us this great information. And for more about today's topic, you can check out the School Source page on WNEM.com.